I'm just not having it. <laughs>
And I, I, I'm, I don't, I'm not going to say that I don't like the way they're handling her because I do like the way they've used Hatena up to this point, right? I, I like the fact that she's getting some time to, to, to be shown off because they didn't do that in the generation the bitch was introduced, okay? Fuck journeys for not doing that for some of the cool Gen 8 Pokemon that exist, okay? But, <laughs> but just listen, I, I just, I... I can't even talk to you guys about the full. Like I feel like I I can I, I can rant more in this review because of what they did than the actual fucking point of the episode. Because I'll give you guys the quick synopsis of what happened in this episode. Liko, Dot, and Roy are chasing after the Annihilate that they don't know is a fucking Annihilate, right? And then they run into a group of kids that look exactly like them. It's, they, they only did this for one gag, right? That, that it's like three kids that are dressed similarly to our gang, and they have Pokemon that are similar to theirs. Like they have a Rosary, a fucking Dar Darumaka, and, and a Ducklet, right? Similar in, in, in terms of design to what the main crew has. Um, and they, they talk about this like mysterious wild beast of a mon that, that got upset with them and all this other shit that happened and like they had to fix a bag with like this vines. Like obviously you know these fucking bitches were lying as fuck. But anyways, they only did that for the gag that as soon as they find out where the, the fucking Annihilate and the Primeapes and the Mankeys are at, they're like, oh shit, it's the people that fucked us up and fucked our home, right? And then they have this whole thing of like them beating each other up and trying to fight. And like, listen, the, like I said, everything prior to the evolution was okay for me. Like, I love what they were going with. The, 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 the friendship that they built by making them a bridge, right? Everything was cool. I liked it, right? They, they, like, Hatena is the one that saved them all because like, they're not really upset with us. They just want to get their food, right? And then, like, they build this bridge using all their Pokemon. And, and it was great and it was awesome, okay? All that is fine. But why? Why? Tell me why. After you had this whole thing, they're supposed to lead into a happy finale, right? Where the, the Annihilate and the Primaves and the Mankeys are now happy, finally, with their berries. And they're able, they're able to just enjoy their time. Tell me why. They're like, no, this isn't enough. Okay, we need to have a fucking death happen in the fucking episode, right? And like, <laughs> and I don't mean directly, okay? I, they, <laughs> we all know how an Ollie comes to me, okay? If you, if you play it in the game, you're supposed to use Rage Fist uh, a bunch of times on, on Primate, but have it take damage constantly and constantly using Rage Fist, um, but never, never heal it up. Like, never, never take it to a Pokemon Center. Right, until it just one day just fucking evolves into an annihilate, right? Because that's how it works. He gets so fucking angry that he fucking dies. <laughs> that's the lore behind annihilate. So they did that just to have the annihilates, you know, two, two primates die and turn into annihilates, and they're all fighting with each other, which then causes Tenna to become upset and be like, bitch, and then like evolves into a hatching, gets all this fucking anger, and bitch slaps everybody around, okay? Like, I don't, I don't dislike the episode in terms of what they did, okay? I, I, I like the story that they built. My only problem is I do not think that we needed to have, first of all, Watcher shouldn't have evolved in the last episode. And second, we don't need two back-to-back -back evolutions. I, I don't think that's, I think that's lazy writing in my opinion because it doesn't really give the characters time to flesh out. Why the fuck? Why are you going to give me an evolution and then not show off the Pokemon that just evolved in the coming episodes? Um, and have it grow, and instead shift into another Pokemon getting an evolution just to be sidelined again. Like, I just, I don't understand why they do this. I, I just wished, I wish, because like, at least for Agato got some time in the limelight before somebody else fucking evolved, but you don't even give Killer Watch, Killer Watcho, listen, it was irrelevant as a Watcho, it's irrelevant now, and it's gonna stay irrelevant. That, uh, unless they really focus on these fucking Pokemon in the future, I don't even think these evolutions are gonna matter in the grand scheme of things. Personally speaking, um, I just I'm upset. I'm angry. I, I don't like the fact that the the show is turning into this right now. And the the worst part is the next episode is a freed episode, and I'm like, okay, cool. I guess it's been a while since we've hung out with the adults. But I thought the whole point of this plot, right, and this season is about the kids and the Orange Academy and like the Terrasta course. Why the fuck are we seeing freed? Make it make sense. I don't know. That's I'm just gonna. I need to like sit down and 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 just relax for a bit. Okay, so I'm gonna do that while editing this video, which is probably gonna make me angry because I gotta fucking edit myself being upset about this shit. So 
I'm going to head out. Thank you guys so much for watching. <laughs> Leave your thoughts and comments in the comment section below. And I will see you guys uh, tomorrow with Pokemon Emerald uh, Let's Play on stream. So, yeah, I'm, I'm heading out. So, you guys have a good day.